It's that time of the year when I update my Apple reminders and Apple calendar and any of the other Apple productivity tools that they have updated in the new iOS and macOS. And unfortunately this year, there isn't that much because Apple's focusing more on Apple intelligence. However, there are a couple of things I'd like to share with you that I think you're gonna find very helpful in your time management and productivity life. Now, please, before we move any further, forgive my voice. I have a little bit of a cold developing, but we'll be good enough to get through this video. Let's start with Apple Calendar and Reminders integration. Now, Apple have done this really rather well. Rather than starting off with using the regular calendar blocks and making every reminder look like another event, what they've done is they've created it, they've designed it in a slightly different way. So it's very clear when a task is a task, i.e. reminders, and when something is an event. Now this is going to be great for those of you who like to time block because one of the the features of time blocking is you're categorizing your work. And although reminders doesn't allow you to create labels, they do create task tags, but they don't create labels. What you can do if you want to use the reminders and the calendar integration is you can actually move your tasks into the time blocks and it clearly shows what you're doing. So as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm moving these tasks into my time blocks for today. Now, the only slight issue I have with this is recurring tasks, tasks that you've set up to recur, so your routines or recurring areas of focus, that you're not going to be able to move those into the time blocks unless you already pre-exist the time, which means you're not moving them around at all. So you are stuck with only the, what I would describe as unique tasks, one-off tasks. You can move those into the time blocks, but apart from that, everything is going to stay at the top. So Apple haven't really revolutionized this in any way. It's just the normal way that most task managers that are adding calendar integration to theirs. You, you can move things around, but it, it's not great. Although, to be fair, Apple have done a very good job at least making it look clean and tidy when you've got it set up. So that's the first bit, the Apple Calendar and Apple Reminders integration. Now, before I get all the comments saying, have you changed your system? No, I don't use this. I'm a firm believer in making sure that my task manager and my calendar are separate. I have a big enough monitor on my desk where I can actually see the two together, very much as I've been reporting on my, my Franklin Planner updates this year. I actually quite like to see the day view and my task list together so I can see how many appointments I've got for the day, which will then determine how many tasks I can do for the day. You know, good old fashioned principled time management methodology. Okay, now let's have a look <clears throat> at how you can set up a focused view in Apple Reminders. Okay, so what I've got on my uh, in reminders right here is I've got my this week, next week, this month, recurring areas of focus, routines, and long-term and on hold folders or lists set up. But what you'll see up at the top here is something called today's focus. Now, this is just a folder of smart lists. So I've created three smart lists, today's must-dos, today's should-dos, and today's could-dos, because your tasks are going to come into those three types of category. Must-dos are tasks that you absolutely must do. They're non-negotiable. You want to keep those to no more than two or three. Today's should-dos, those are the tasks that you'll do your very best to get to. If you don't have time, it's not the end of the world. And your could-do tasks are those context-based tasks. This means that you either need to be with a person, in a place, or have a specific tool. Now, today's world, of course, we carry our mobile phones and laptops and iPads with us. It's very easy to be able to do most of the stuff wherever you are, but there are still some context-based tasks that you may need to do. For instance, when I take my dog for a walk, my wife may have asked me, could you stop at the pharmacy to pick up some 
tools, you know, some stuff, medicine for my <laughs> upcoming cold. Um, so that would be a could do. If I'm in the area, I can pick up the prescription or whatever. Similarly, if I'm picking my kids up and I know that I need to call in at the hardware store to pick up some a hammer or nails or whatever, yeah, okay, I can add that in there because I know I'm going to be in those areas. These are context-based tasks. So what you're going to do is you're going to create these three folders, uh, smart lists. Now, I'm going to go into today's must-dos. And if we just uh, we'll edit this, <laughs> show smart list information. So what you'll see is my smart list set up here. Today's must-dos, I've colored this red. Uh, I've given it the icon. You can choose an icon here. But the bit that's most important is what we have here. So it's to date is today. So I've chosen date is today. So anything that's due today. Uh, the priority, so I've set priority as high. So that means that this particular task has a high, any task that's got the highest priority is going to fall it, and it's due today, is going to fall into this list. Similarly with should do's, this is going to be what I would, let's just go, let's go into this and I'll do uh, again show smart list information. And what we've got is priority is medium. So it's the same as the first one, but medium. So you can do that by just creating a smart list. Now, if you're wondering how do I create a smart list, just go up to file, new, uh, new list, and then it will ask you if you want to make it a smart list. So once you've done that, you've got these set up. Now, just to give you an idea, how, where is this priority stuff you're talking about? Well, let's just say that I've got to write a report for my sales director. So I'm going to go into the information here. And you'll see down here that I've got priority. So what I can do is I can leave that at medium. Or you can choose low, medium, or high, or none. So I'm going to leave that medium. I'm going to change the date for this to today. So we set that up for today. And that's it. Now, the other slight problem is when we go into our folders here, this folder that we have for today's focus, what we've got is three different lists. Now, you're going to be starting off with your today's must-dos, today's should-dos, today's could-dos. But the way that Apple use lists, uh, the folders, if I click on the folder here, now it's given me the list that I need for today. So essentially what I could do now is I could remove the sidebar and I could just have this set up as my list for today. These are the things that I have pre-decided are the most important tasks to do today. It's a really, really simple but effective thing. Now, of course, we've got to set up the list. I mean, the list needs to be set up first, but once you've set it up, it will automatically, anything, when you're going through your this week, when you're going through your daily planning session, all you need to do is set the priority and that will then fall into one of these categories, either today's must-dos, today's should-dos and today's could-dos. This way you can keep yourself really focused on what's important for today. doesn't mean to say that, I mean, if I look up here, I've got 12 things to do today. <clears throat> but what really matters is what's in here. These are the ones that I have already pre-decided are the most important tasks. Now, in the morning, if I was doing the planning, I could go through and I could actually do, do the, the, the prioritization from here. What you'll notice, by the way, is anything that's overdue is not going to pop up into here it, because the date is today's date. Now, I don't operate on a overdue. I don't have tasks that are overdue. I've just left these in here for example. When I do my daily planning, I reschedule. So, I will never have any overdue. But if you wanted to add your overdues into this list, then you can go into here. Let's just go into, <clears throat> um, so we just include past due. And we're going to here and include, bu 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 show smart list. So if you tap on include past due, and now we've got everything there. So when I go into my list here, today's focus, it is now going to give me everything that's overdue. As you can see here, write up client feedback. Um, is, where are my overdues? There we go, we've got one, <laughs> I've got one overdue, three overdue up here, uh, two overdue here. So we've got overdues now showing up in this list. So if you want to do that, you can do it. I'm very strict about overdue tasks. So Apple have been quite smart. There's some of those little tiny things that you can use within reminders that really help you to focus on the day. And I really like the way that this is set up. So there you go. That's two things that Apple reminders and your calendar can be used for because you can actually 
have a very good way of using time blocks and then scheduling your tasks in your calendar. As I say, I don't do that myself, but if you want to do that, that is one way of using that. And this way you can actually set up your your focus for the day, really get yourself focused in on what's truly important. And as you can see from this list, even with the overdue tasks, it's not overwhelming. And when I start the day, I know that my must do's are where I really want to start the day from. Thank you very much for watching this course. Now, if you want to learn how to put together everything in Apple using reminders, notes, calendar, and email, then I've just updated my Apple productivity course for 2025. I'll put the details of that in the show notes below. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to learn more about how I have set up my Apple reminders, then this video up here is the one to watch next.